you're traveling through another dimension. A dimension not only of sight and sound, but of mind. A journey into a wondrous land whose boundaries are those of imagination. Your next stop, the Twilight Zone. wrong with you? We are behind schedule. The jungle is too thick, Clemente. Use your machetes, all of you. We have used them. Now they are dull. Then sharpen them. The burros need water. He's right, Ramos. If we lose another animal, we cannot make it. <sighs> Very well. Make camp here. Out door. We rest. How much longer, Alessandro? A few more days, perhaps a week. If this is the right way to the capital. What? You have the map. What does it say? We are here by the mountains. We should go around, through the lowlands. No, that is too far. We must strike the cruise now, before his army comes looking for us. Don't worry, Ramos. We are not worth hunting. You say that to me? I speak the truth. Look around. What do you see? Men of destiny. Oh? And how many are we today? The campesinos support us. They give us food, shelter. That is because we are the ones who march. We are the point of the spear. When we strike, they will follow. But only if we succeed. The jungle is full of rebels. They will come out of their caves to join us. First, we must survive. The way through the mountains is difficult. Cristo and Tamar are loyal. And Garcia. And what of the others? If they go back to their wives, we are alone. A teacher and a dreamer. Your words are strange to my ears, Javier. As if they come from a woman. <laughs> Politics is more than a cause, my friend. It is a strategy. When a bridge is weak, it must fall. Remember the history of our land. The earth is ripe with the blood of other rebellions. We will not fail. There is no shame in it. We can take up arms again when the time is right. This is our moment. Not this year, Ramos. And perhaps not next year either. That is still too soon. But sooner or later, the crops will fail. The people will rise up and we will show them the way. Now, the bellies are full from the harvest. They are not ready. Listen to your fear. You yourself taught me that the people rally behind a leader. A brave leader who knows no fear. Only a fool is without fear. I am not a fool. I am a man. More will come. They will leave their villages and march with us, 10,000 as strong. The cruises guard will not fire on us. They are our brothers. And how many brothers do we have here? Eleven? Twelve? Turn back now, my friend. Before it's too late. Too late? Hear me well. Because this, I swear, one week from now, we take the capital. This is Ramos Clemente and his ragtag band of followers. Chief among them, Xavier D'Alessandro, his political advisor and sergeant-at-arms. Clemente is the keeper of a dream. Once he walked behind a mule as it plowed someone else's land, looked up at a hot Central American sun and pledged the impossible. He vowed that he would lead his people against the tyranny that put the ache in their backs, the lines in their faces, the anguish in their eyes. That he would ride at the head of an army into the capital city, cheered along the way by thousands of dreamers, all sharing the hope that General Clemente is the man to give them back their freedom. A noble dream, or an illusion. If the latter, it would be an honest mistake, but even honest mistakes have a price. In a moment, Clemente and his lieutenants will encounter something which will turn out to be more than they bargained for. The surprising aftermath of a well-intentioned revolution. 
They will discover the startling truth as reflected in a very strange mirror, one that was handmade just for them in the Twilight Zone. And now, The Twilight Zone and our story, The Mirror, starring Tony Plana with Stacy Keach as your narrator. Do you hear that? See me, General. They are calling for you. They are. They are. Let them see you, Clemente. Yes, from the balcony. Perhaps I should. Just for a minute. Go on, Ramos. This is your palace now. It is your right. Very well. Luke, there he is. It's him. My countrymen, a new day. I promise you the time has come. The president has fallen. Go home to your families now and make ready for tomorrow. You shall have peace, justice, and equality. Do you hear? Viva Clemente! That is me! Viva! 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 <laughs> A toast! Yes! With some of the cruise's precious wine! The glasses! To the revolution! To the revolution! <laughs> uh, so do you know? Do you know why I laugh? I laugh because there is so much, so much feeling inside of me. I didn't know in the beginning. I didn't know when this moment came how I would react to it. What would I do? Laugh? Cry? Get drunk? I didn't know. What makes a man more drunk? Wine? Or the people shouting his name? Another toast to you. No, my friend. To you, to all of you, I toast my friends. Cristo, the bold one. D'Alessandro, the dedicated one. Tabal, the quiet one. And Garcia, the strong one. To the four lieutenants of the revolution. To the new heads of government. To the new government. Not to the Cruz, whose portrait stares down on us from the wall. Now the wall drips with wine, like blood. And so we begin. De Cruz. He is still alive. As you ordered. Bring him here. Let that be the first order of business. Yes, sir. You will have to find another picture for the wall. Yes. One of yourself, perhaps? Oh, oh, no, no, no. Oh, no. We will find something. There. In the corner. What is it? A mirror. Ah. To reflect the new leader. A beautiful frame. Hand-carved. <laughs> General de Cruz had exceptional taste, huh? You should hang it up. Very well. Hmm. I look tired. Old. It has been a long day. Do you know, Alessandro? One year ago, this was the face of a peasant. A beardless, nameless worker of the dirt. Whose fingernails were in mourning and whose clothing stank. And now? Now it is the face of a leader. A chief of state. Yes. It is. One year. One year of starving, hiding, stealing weapons, and having the same dream every hour. And from the dream came an army, 
and from the army came a rebellion. And now I have liberated the masses of other nameless workers of the dirt. I have broken their shackles. And what of him, the one whose portrait you have taken down? The memory of him will soon be forgotten. What is your plan? A trial, Alessandro. Of course. A lot of trials. A lot of brick walls and a lot of firing squads. A lot of bloodbaths, you mean? To cleanse us of the past. Are you sure that is the way? It is only fair. Their blood now, in repayment of ours. In here, pig. The general is waiting. Take your hands off me. Now, show respect. You disappoint me, De Cruz. You are not like your portrait. Who are you to judge? I don't recognize him. The man in the picture had arrogance, a full braid on his uniform. Where is he now? I see only an old man in dirty, torn clothes. What do you want of me, Clemente? What I want? Not what I want. What they want. Look, a dictator! To the wall with him! To the wall! To the wall! To the wall! To the wall! You hear? To the wall, they say. But I won't stand you against the wall with a blindfold. That is a cheap death for underlings. Firing squads are for followers, not leaders. No, no. Old man, you are too good for that. You are a special case. You, I will strip naked and cover with honey. I will tie you spread eagled on the ground under the sun, and then I'll let the ants eat you. And every time you scream, I'll drink wine. And every time you beg for mercy, I'll laugh out loud, because I want you to take a long time to die. Want part death for every acre of land you stole. One part death for every morsel of food you took out of a peasant's mouth. And one part death for every voice you stifled by decree. Now, what is your plea? Or will it be a cry for mercy? I will not oblige you, Clemente, with a cry or a plea. You can strip off my flesh, because it is here for you and easily done by any animal. But my manhood, my manhood, you greasy little peon. This is as far from you as the moon. Peon? You dare to call me a peon? Stop! He is to be judged, not tormented. He is the animal. <laughs> and you are not, eh? You are the purists, the idealists, the saviors, the avenging angels. Gentlemen, you will soon be disillusioned. You are me. You are the Cruz. You are Baptista. You are Trujillo, you are Noriega and Duvalier. You are the keepers of the grab bags. You can wave your flags and put up your statues and embrace all the people from the oldest to the youngest. But we are of the same breed. We are the spoilers. We care for no one but ourselves. You insult me, peon. Enough. He presents his case and we are his best witnesses. We corroborate everything he says. You cannot help but do it. You think this room, the people out there, you think these are the fruits of victory? The spoils? No. They are simply a legacy, Clemente. What I pass on to you. Power you shall have, certainly power. Enough to make you giddy. But there are other things in the inheritance. You will find them soon enough. What things? Fear. The chief legacy. Fear of assassination. Fear of disloyalty. Fear of rebellion. Fear of another Clemente hiding in the hills. Fear even of the Norte Americanos who offer you money and supplies. God help you. God pity you. Take him away. On your feet. Guards! Guards! 
I see you have found my mirror. It is mine now. Then it will serve you well. An old woman brought it to me ten years ago when I first took power. She said it was magic. She said, by looking into it, I could see the faces of my assassins. She spoke the truth. That is why I took it down. That's right. Look deep, General Clemente. Find out who your enemies really are. You will see them there, in that mirror. You will see them in the dark corners. You will see them in the crowd. You will see them in your glasses of wine. You will see them everywhere. Out! Where shall we take him? Lock him up in the prison. I will decide what to do. <laughs> assassins, come out, come out, wherever you are. Come on, assassins. Come out of the mirror. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a joke. A stupid, ignorant joke. Assassins in the mirror. <laughs> yes? How goes it, my friend? Ah, oh, Alessandro. I'm glad you're here. It is dark. The chandelier, let me turn it on. No, please. I need to think. The candles, then? Only one. That is enough. More plans, eh? For the new regime? Come to the windows, D'Alessandro. Look outside. What do you see? Fires in the night. Yes. Many fires. I see the old ways burning to make way for the new. The transition begins. What do you think he meant? Who? De Cruz. When he spoke of dictators. For once he spoke the truth. He is not deluded. He knows his role. But not ours. We will not make the same mistakes. No. But be cautious, my friend. It is easy to slip. Too much blood and the crops will not grow. We will know a season of poverty before the people are reborn. False friends will come to you, offering help. We must make alliances. There is always a price. Their influence, like fish hooks to bind us to them. From our neighbors to the south and the north. From lands across the sea. I will strike a bargain. With those who are so powerful? They will bring ships filled with goods but also gunboats and helicopters and advisors with packs to be signed. Their ways are ruthless. Deal with them, yes, but not as a puppet. I am no man's puppet. Then take care. Take care, Ramos. Choose the path of justice, not of revenge. What? You would have me forgive De Cruz and his army? They who have kept our people under the yoke? Not forgiveness, banishment. The prison is overflowing. We do not have enough bullets to liquidate them all. So they go to another land and rebuild their army. That is stupid, Javier. They are our enemies. Where will they live? In the mirror? Cristo. Sir. How many prisoners are there? In the capital? About 1,000. Start shooting them. When? Tonight. Yes, sir. Right away. I see. There is no time for trials. But for murder, there's plenty of time? What are you? A chameleon? The ease with which you strip off one color and put on another. You turn my stomach. I thought you were with me. I am. But not with mass murder. Murderers can never be murdered. They can only be eliminated. You clean your house with a reckless hand. Go, Cristo. Give the order. Gladly. You should look in that mirror and see what face looks back at you. Ah. 
A magical mirror, he said. A mirror that reflects the faces of my assassins. <laughs> How intriguing. Isn't that intriguing, D'Alessandro? I had no idea that you believed in such... What are you doing? What am I doing? I saw it. Where is it? What? The submachine gun. You need to rest. You have been awake too long. Tomorrow we will go into the fields, the villages, meet with the people. Alessandro, the dedicated one, the moralist. I was the arm of the revolution, but he was the heart. What are you talking about? I saw you with a weapon, cradled in your arms. Then you cocked it, ready to shoot me in the back. Where are you hiding it? Ramos, listen to me. You're not making sense. A man can believe his own eyes. I saw you in the mirror with the gun. I should have known. What gun? Ramos, you sound demented. I should have known. Of all of them, it would be you. It would have to be you, D'Alessandro. What are you doing? Yes, a traitor. Let go of me. See him with your own eyes. See the assassin. Do with him what you will. I am not an assassin. I am your lieutenant. Your conscience. No! Garcia, get off the couch and find a bed. Did you hear that? Uh, hear Garcia. He had too much to drink last night. The palace is stocked with the finest brandy. Not that. Outside, in the courtyard. Ah. Uh, the firing squad. We've already killed off hundreds. That sound, better than a swig of brandy. What were you before the rebellion, Cristo? Why do you ask that? Uh, don't tell me. Did you work in a stockyard? You seem to enjoy the butchery. It is a fiesta. Then why do I not hear laughter? The crowd is getting bored, I think. Not bored, sick. We have given them their freedom. Twelve hours of it, and it is such a fine freedom. The right to watch a massacre. Ten executions at least, every five minutes. You would like more? Oh, oh good, good morning, Clemente. We did not give them their freedom, Tabal. What? You said we. It was I who gave it to them. And I'm sure you'll continue to give it to them. Why are they quiet? They scream for justice, and when you give it to them, they become weary. Like an audience in one peso seats at a burlesque. Their entertainment must be varied. Costume changes every five minutes, or they lose interest. New bodies every few minutes. But even that is not enough. I know them well. You fill their stomachs and it empties their brains. They have cheap tastes and short memories. Clement, Clement. Something to say, Tabal? No, I have papers to check. The figures for De Cruz's treasury. Is there nothing more? Something that sits heavy on you? That. That sits heavy on me, on my ears and on my heart. Why should it? Execution is not a time of joy. But even this is not as bad as the death of a man who was my friend. That is a sword in my chest. D'Alessandro? An assassin? And that's the worst lie of all. It was no lie. 
He was no assassin. What? What's the matter? Uh, what's going on? Oh. Still at it out there, huh? Yes. Until their work is done. Good morning to you, Senor Garcia. How handsome you look in the mirror. What do you see there? <laughs> I see only a tired soldier. A man who needs a change of clothes. Is there a bathtub? Many. Take your pick. Oh, I'll go then. And that is all? You don't see any assassins in that mirror? <laughs> no. I see nothing but my ugly face. Even an assassin might be better. Let me see. No! Leave the mirror alone. Why? You can talk yourself into an illusion. You can make yourself believe anything. Let go of my arm. What is that? Two men. With knives. Tabal. And Garcia. What is it, Ramos? That mirror needs to be cleaned. A trick of the light? Did you think you saw something? No, no, no. I, I, I saw nothing. Sometimes, if you stare at nothing too long, it begins to stare back at you. Tabal, you and Garcia go over to the prison. Yes? Looking on the cruise. Then report back to me. You report what? His health? Do as I tell you. See that he's properly guarded. Yes, sir. You have a message for De Cruz? What sort of message? Should I tell him that he was right about the fear? That there are assassins under the bed and in the shadows and all around the room? Cabal, you have both your freedom and your life. But you have them through my sufferings. Don't throw them away. Of course not, General. Cristo. Get me the prison. Sir? On the phone. Here, I'll do it. Hello? Hello? Are you asleep down there? It's General Clemente. That's correct. This is urgent. I want the prison. No, not the office. The front gate. That's right. This is Gerenal Clemente. Two men will arrive there in a few minutes. They are spies and should be shot on sight. Their names are Tabal and Garcia. I know who they are and I know what they are. Shoot them. Call me when it is done. Bodies out. Yes, sir. Right away. I think maybe I'm still asleep. I wish you were, and me as well. Did you ever have a dream that. Uh, never mind. Go ahead. Say it. A dream where you try to wake up, but you cannot. You mean a nightmare? And do you wonder? What? Well, if I hadn't joined Clemente, well, I would be home now with my woman, my little ones. I would be in the fields working the crops. I think now that it wasn't so bad. But it was. Half of your vegetables, your livestock, to the state? That is no way to live. No. Still, I do not like this slaughter. Nor do I. I guess it isn't ours to know. What do you mean? Clemente, he has his reasons. I am not an educated man. The ways of politics are hard to understand. Clemente is not educated. But the Alessandro was. Mm, a very smart man. A lieutenant, like us. Closer than that. And now we are three. Clemente will need us even more. Garcia, listen to me. Watch your back. Huh? 
Clemente has not slept in three days. But he sees, not with his eyes, with his mind. And what he sees is dark and strange, like a house of many doors, and behind each door is more darkness. And the way into that house is the mirror. What? A piece of glass? The glass reflects what is before it. When Clemente stands and looks, he sees the doorways of his mind. I do not fear an old woman's gift. We are his lieutenants. Yes, like the Alessandro. Come, we will report on the cruise, and then we must make a plan. Señor Tabal. You know our names? But of course. We have come to see the prisoner. You have many prisoners, but only one of interest to the General. Ah, the General. I spoke to him not five minutes ago. Come in. We have been expecting you. Clemente, are they there? Good. Tell me when it is done. The prison? You have any complaints? None. You are sure? Why should I? A pie cut into two pieces is better than one cut into five. A drink of wine? Pie? But we do not speak of pie. Do we? These are the lives of friends. Are you sure? They were very close to me. Very close. You know that. Alessandro, Garcia, Tabal. They were like brothers. Or so it seemed. That is what I don't understand. How is it that they can change so? And even more curious, how can I crush them underfoot? like ants and feel nothing men cannot be brothers and assassins no they must choose it is to be expected when a man has power he has enemies and now you have enemies enemies yes i understand that but are all my friends to be my enemies from now on ramos you have no friends you have only followers and competitors. This is the breakdown of your world. You must live with it. And how do you classify yourself, Cristo? Myself? I am a follower, Henral. For how long? That is a strange question. For how long will you be a follower? Until some quiet moment when my back is turned? Oh, no. Only until that moment when you prove to me that you cannot lead. Only until the moment when I think that perhaps... Perhaps? What? That perhaps I am stronger than you. You'll be eaten by worms before that moment comes. Besides, if my back is turned to you, I will see you in the mirror. As I do now. What is it? What do you see? Only you. At the desk, holding out a glass of wine. Of course. Here is a glass for you. Now you pour it. Take a drink. It will make you feel better. But you poured it before. I saw you in the mirror. Your eyes are tired. Go ahead. It will help you sleep. It will help me sleep? But for how long, Cristo? How long will I sleep after drinking it? For all eternity? Why did you do that? What did you put in the glass? A powder? Did you point a gun at me? Only at traitors. But there is no reason. I have a desire to live out my life. I am allergic to poison. You have gone crazy. Mark your words carefully, Cristo.
Yes? Yes, he is here. When? All right. I'll tell him. That was the gatehouse of the prison. The guards have shot Tabal and Garcia. They are both dead. And what shall we do now? Mourn for them? If you wish. They were our friends, weren't they? But then again, they can't be friends and assassins. They must be one or the other. Wasn't that your point? Ramos, there was no poison in the wine. I swear to you, I had nothing like that in mind. Nothing of the sort. You are imagining things. Am I? Look, look, I'll show you. It was an illusion. This is just a mirror, an ordinary mirror, in an old frame. See? It's only glass, polished glass. I'm looking into it. I see myself and you behind me, nothing else. You are raising the gun and pointing it because you've let yourself see things that are not there. You've let yourself... Ramos! Ramos! What have you done? Only what I had to do. A terrible mistake. Now, you will be very lonely. You will be all alone. You have just killed the better man. The better man. General, I heard a shot. Lieutenant Cristo shot himself accidentally. But how? Did you hear what I said? It was an accident. Now get out of here! To the four lieutenants of the revolution. To the new heads of government. To the Alessandro the dedicated. Tabal the quiet. Garcia the strong one. And to Cristo, the bold one. Yes! Someone to see you, sir. Who? The Holy Father. What would a priest want with me? Leave us. General? It's all right. Yes, sir. I'll be outside. General Clemente. I'm Father Thomas. So? You will forgive me, General. But this must be said now. What must be said? The executions. The people are appalled. That is no concern of mine. Is this what we are to expect from the new regime? I have my enemies, father. That is your answer? You may tell the people that as long as I have enemies, the executions will continue. They will go on 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And if this disturbs them, if this disturbs them... Then what? Then let them do something about it. Let them starve in the mountains, as I did. Let them hide in caves. Let them raise an army out of the dirt. If there is one among them strong enough to make a new rebellion, let him try. But let him be prepared for a year of suffering, and let him learn how to lead. General Clemente, the victory is not so sweet, is it? Now you are learning. Instead of the flavor of wine, it has the taste of ashes. I had a dream, Father. I had such a dream. And they were all a part of it. Cristo and Tabal and Garcia... And Alessandro, why did they turn against me? You ask me for the answer? Where else can I turn? To this mirror? Look to what is in yourself. But I can't stand this. I can't live this way. 
I'm frightened. Morning till night, I hold my breath. I look over my shoulder. I keep looking back to see what is there. I will live the rest of my life running from death. Why? Why do I have so many enemies? This is the story of all tyrants, General Clemente. They have but one real enemy, and it is the one they never recognize until it is too late. God be with you. You. I see you looking at me. What do you see? What do you see? Keep an eye on him. What did you say, priest? The general. He's not well. General Clemente is a great man. He might have been. He may be yet. He needs our help. I will remember him in my prayers. God be with you, my son. My general, the blood. Who has done this terrible thing? The last assassin. And they never learn. They never seem to learn. Ramos Clemente, a would-be savior in khakis. His brains blown out by an illusion. A mirage dangled before the eyes of all ambitious men, no matter how they begin. The most vulnerable are the dreamers, when they allow fear and paranoia to make them murderers. Which is not to say that ideals are an illusion, only that revolution requires more than songs and slogans. Courage helps, as does character, a touch of luck and something along the lines of superhuman strength whether it be found here or in the Twilight Zone. Hi, this is Carl Amari, producer of the Twilight Zone radio dramas. I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our official website at twilightzoneradio.com where you'll get the latest news and information on these Twilight Zone radio dramas. Plus, at TwilightZoneRadio.com, you can digitally download three free episodes or any of our episodes for only $1.95 each. In this age of ever-changing technology, we've decided to make these episodes instantly available to you by making the Twilight Zone radio dramas a digital download-only series. This means that this series will no longer be offered on CD. The CD collections at our website are now being offered, while supplies last, at buy one, get one free. So be sure to get your favorites before they're sold out. Be sure to visit us often, and I'll see you in the zone. The Mirror, starring Tony Plana with Stacey Keach as your narrator, was adapted for radio by Dennis Etchison and written for The Twilight Zone by Rod Serling. Heard in the cast were Tony Sancho, Rick Vargas, Eddie Martinez, Tony Castillo, Ricardo Gutierrez, Ivan Vega, Florentino Mitchell, Arturo Montemayor, and Oliver Adolfi. The producers of The Twilight Zone wish to thank CBS Enterprises and the Rod Serling estate for making this series possible. This copyrighted radio series is produced and directed by Carl Amari for Falcon Picture Group and Westwood One. Sound design and custom Foley effects for The Twilight Zone by Cerny American creatives Bob Benson, Craig Lee, Matt Sorrow, Tim Cerny, and Todd Beyer. To learn more about The Twilight Zone radio dramas and to contact us, visit our official website at twilightzoneradio.com. This is Doc James speaking.